Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer from MamaForFur.com, the home of smarter saving, smarter spending, smarter living strategies. Today's video is continuing a pick your best budget series, which I've been really enjoying, where basically I'm going to describe another budgeting strategy that you can apply in your life. So in the past, I've talked about Dave Ramsey's Baby Steps budget. I've also talked to you about the 50, 30, 20 budgeting strategy. Today, I'm going to show you my hybrid version of them all, which I personally use with my family right now and I call it the 80-20 budget system. So basically it's a method that I've stripped it all down, kept it super super simple, it works for us, we are saving towards our financial freedom and our goals with this budget, it allows us to still live life and not be so restricted, not to put so many caveats on how we spend. So I hope you enjoy this video, if you're brand new hit subscribe, never miss any of my videos because I want to help everyone create financial and time freedom in their lives. I believe that the moment that you get control over your money knowledge and your the way that you want to focus your efforts in life it allows you to focus on things that truly matter and allows you to have joy because you're living the life of your dreams i hope that would be a benefit to you that are watching just now hit subscribe so you don't miss out and be sure to go over to mamafarfar.com it's my blog that supports my channel here i describe everything in detail that i talk about there is usually graphics there's written descriptions of everything that i mention here so particularly for budgeting sales go over to the relevant blog link that you'll see below go and check it out and I hope it is super super useful for you so yeah let's kick off the last couple of videos I have used a whiteboard and pen I think it's really good to kind of see visually how you set up budgeting systems and how you can apply it with real life figures so I'm going to do the same for this video and I hope you really enjoy so today I want to talk to you about my own budgeting style which I call the 80-20 budget. It's very much a hybrid of Dave Ramsey's Baby Steps which you'll hopefully have seen a video on that before which I'll leave the link below. It's also a hybrid using principles of the 50-30-20 budget and it's also got a little bit of my 10% rule thrown in there. So you're going to want to get a notepad and pen. I personally enjoy using this budget strategy. It works for our family. With anything that I give you information on this channel, test it out with your family. There's no one fit is for all styles be sure that it suits you in your situation and your goals so if you checked out some of my other videos you know that there's a couple of theories I really enjoy using in my life I've got my whiteboard and my pen again for this video but I really enjoy Dave Ramsey's baby steps as a principle of building towards wealth and financial freedom if you haven't heard of Dave Ramsey before he is basically a financial knowledge guru and mentor and coach and he likes to make sure that people don't attack the full pie in one go he believes you take it step by step towards financial freedom and you will get it there. I like to believe that absolutely any budget from the word go can attempt to build wealth and build financial freedom practices. I even think, you know, if you're saving even one pound towards financial freedom, it is somewhere, it is a start. So I say, why not attack all the principles at one time? And this is the budget that I use with my own family to make that happen. So this budget is extremely straightforward. There's not a lot of subdividing into categories. It is simply 80% of your budget will be used for building the life of your dreams and 20% will be used to generate income, passive incomes in the future to build your wealth and potentially make a difference in your life. Okay, so let's get started with some numbers. So let's assume that our take home pay is £1,000. Okay, so it's a kind of good general amount that will go for most families, you know, have to live on a, a little bit more than that, but that's a good round number that we'll just use the principles for it. So basically, I say that 80% will be exclusively, which is worth like £800 if we see for that budget, 80% of that budget is for living life. You can buy your clothing, your rent, your electricity, your car payments, your credit cards, anything at all within that 80%. So I do not limit in how much you want to spend on food, how much you want to you know, use play money. If you want a fancy car and can afford it within that 80%, go ahead. That is totally your life and what you're doing right now. The other 20% though is what I think is totally necessary to actually generate wealth and use your money smarter. So that would mean that out of that £1,000, I commit to a minimum of £200 either being put into my pension, being put into investments. I would also think about potentially, you know, if there's any side businesses I'm running, to use some of that money to generate more money, anything at all. But I want to use 20% of my budget to generate more income in the future. 
I'm a great believer there's one particular principle statement that is called the 80-20 rule that this is based on. And the 80-20 rule basically says 80% of your wealth will come from 20% of your actions. So I am literally applying that. And the great thing about this 20%, if you're actively saving 20% through pensions, through investments, everything going towards your future potential incomes, you absolutely will get financial freedom probably within... 15 to 20 years because the mass will support that. You're putting a huge amount of your money away and that will reward you because there's generally a rate of return of between 4 to 10% on proper investments in the stock market. If you're doing it in a pension, obviously that might be a little bit less and you've got to wait till you're 65 or 55 to get that money. I like to use a combination of both, but this is absolutely the minimum that I aim for when I'm trying to suggest budgets for my own family. We're actually lucky we're putting a little bit more more than that in, ours is maybe nearer closer to 25%, but the main principle is we can live life, do whatever we want because we're actually putting money aside and, and generating more incomes in the future. So there's two other caveats to this budget that I haven't mentioned, the principles I apply within the budget. So then I also apply what I call the 10% rule. So the 10% rule is what I like to do whenever I've got any form of debt. So we have car payments, we've got a mortgage payment. Within that 80%, I apply a 10% extra rule for everything where I'm paying back money on. So our mortgage, we pay 10% extra of the monthly fee. That means we are going to reduce our mortgage from 25 years down to 22 years because we're effectively putting towards an extra whole payment every year. So it's eating into the capital faster than the, the bank wants us to, which is excellent, and taking money away from them. But also we are dropping the term on our mortgage mortgage we are doing the same on our cars so that again we will own them faster than you know the loan company want us to but we actually have them on credit cards so I'm eating into the debt even faster but that rule will absolutely save you time from doing something as small and you could easily make that 20% if you said you know what 80% of my rewards are going to come from 20% of effort I'm going to chuck in 20% extra you will drop that time right down perhaps even almost a third of the time will be slashed off to pay back that debt which is incredible so the final part when you know that you are actively saving for your future when you are designing the life that you want you know you're saving up for holidays you're perhaps even saving up for nicer clothes whatever you fancy but you're comfortable with that money then is the time to start looking at either increasing that percentage so that's just a good kind of general aim the 20 percent i would like to always make that as high as i can without restricting life and then you also might want to within that 80 percent give back to your community, which is something our family try and do regularly as well. So perhaps if we are hoping to donate to a local, local food bank, I'll do an extra shop with my food shopping money and give that straight to them. I'll make a donation. You can do volunteer work and also do that as part of your donation, of course. But try to make sure your budget includes giving back to the community in some way, because that's truly when your wealth is meant for the purpose it was meant of. It's very good to make yourself wealthy, but you've got to be doing something also with that money to be good because you can't take it with you after all you can pass it on to your kids but I guarantee they would probably rather have your legacy than a bunch of money so I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I have made a series of videos talking about different strategies for budgeting. I've made a 50, 30, 20 video, a baby steps video in this video. I'll link them all below so you can check them out. But tell me in the comments, what budgeting strategy do you tend to use with your family? Do you have one? Do you just let it all go to pot and just do whatever you fancy? Let me know and maybe I might be inspired by your comments and maybe change my ways slightly. This budget works for our life right now because we are working towards financial freedom when we hit that goal it might change slightly it might not it might be that we actually donate 20% of our money I don't know that's in the distant future but I'm excited for it to see how it will change our lives but ultimately make sure you design your budget for your specific goals get very clear about what you want to achieve if it is financial freedom just the same as our family know that number I've got a video that tells you how to create the exact amount of money you need in savings to auto generate that passive income to look at to live off which you can check out in the description bar below but let me know how you're getting on give me a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon